Can you hear that faint distant noise in the background if I open the window? Grass is getting cut. I was gonna say mowed. The lawn is getting mowed. The grass is getting cut. Anyway, um, sun is shining and I'm gonna head to the Trafford Centre today. Tom and I are both gonna go. I might even go tomorrow as well, maybe pop into Paramount. We'll see if we can coax him in today, but I don't know if I'll convince him, but I want to see what some of the new in bits for Primark are looking like, because a lot of you have been sending me photos of them getting like autumn stock in for homeware. Might even be better to go to city centre one actually, but anyway. I also am going today, Tom and I both, when he is ready, we're gonna head over to Costco. We need to get some like essentials, and um, toilet roll, kitchen roll, maybe some bits for hosting this weekend, some foodie bits. Um, where else do we need to go? I think we're honestly mainly going for Costco, but I'm also thinking, I mentioned it to Tom last night, so again, we'll see if he's, if he can be convinced but to go to the little mini golf that they've got there. I've never been to it before and I always see it driving past with like the big dinosaur and it's like outside and because the sun's shining and I thought it's a late afternoon thing to do. Why not just have a little round of crazy golf? I'll just show you what I'm wearing today as well. Very, very basic outfit. Traffic center is so casual and especially if we are just being outside, I'm just thinking, you know, basic T jeans. So these jeans are Primark. These t-shirts are some of my favorite from Abercrombie and Fitch. So that's where that's from. And then I've also got on my Birkenstocks. These, what is, I can't remember the name of this style, but uh, they're like a, the suede double buckle, but without a gap. Because to be honest with you, I thought I'll throw these ones on instead because especially if we are, in the sun at all today. These ones that I wear, the double straps, which are my most worn, my feet just are constantly permanently tanned with these lines. So I thought we're best off switching it up for today. So I'll just throw over my shoulder the Uniqlo bag, which will have my camera purse, phone, and that's it. And my perfume of the day, I have been wearing this pretty much on repeat. The new Jo Malone one that they sent, the orange marmalade. I really, really like this. It reminds me a little bit of, I don't know if I've still got it now. I finished it a while ago. Jo Malone did like a limited edition smaller bottle called Orange Peel, I think it was called. Yeah, this um, orange marmalade, so nice. Lovely, lovely set for this time of the year as well. Hello, Barney. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, are you tired?
Oh yeah. Oh. Just got back in the car and <laughs> Sabrina talking about crime. In fact, let me listen to Sabrina. I will give you a load on tomorrow. But I cried, emotional, but good. Great movie. <laughs> Can you guess where we are? Hi, welcome to Starbucks. I'm trying to get Starbucks for you. Hi, can I please get a small decaf pumpkin spice latte? A small decaf pumpkin spice. Should I draw my cream? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, and anything else? Um, anything else? Do you have um? Mm, no, that's it. Thank no, you. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Thank you. Thinking, do I get some lunch? But it's probably a little bit too early for that. Although my tummy is rumbling. Amazing, there you are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Right, I do feel like I need to pop up the windows because I feel like a lot of people are sat in their cars for some reason. And if I talk out loud, they're going to hear me because <laughs> they've also got the windows open because it's quite warm today. It's 20 degrees or just over. And I, well, it's the next day. I won at golf. I did get a hole in one, but I didn't capture it on camera, unfortunately. I did also end up going. I went to watch uh, the... Oh, why have I forgotten the name of it? It ends with us. <laughs> like, lively. Obviously, the Colleen Hoover book, which I had read and loved. And spoiler alert, if you've not already gone to see it. My review, I would say... I did a little review on Instagram. I said eight and a half out of 10. I really enjoyed the film. It did make me tear up, but because I knew what was coming, I didn't get that like shock factor of, um, like we had some girls behind us. Wow. <laughs> they were going <gasps> and like bowling. And I get that, but I kind of knew what was coming. So I did tear up, but not until the very end. And then even then it's like, I know what happens in the second one, if they're gonna do another movie as well. So, um, yeah, it was really good. There were just a couple of things. I would say with it being a book a adaptation, I'd heard a lot of mixed reviews on it not being as good as the book. I personally thought it was quite close to the book. How everything was is how I imagined it would be. You know, that's how I, it was in my head when I was reading the book. The only thing was I imagined his um, sister and her best friend to, to look different her and her partner but other than that that was the only thing um and the main thing for me and the bit that in the book a book's never made me cry before i just don't think i get as invested in books but this one did and it was right at the very end and again spoiler alert but this isn't in the movie and it was the um the reference to just keep swimming and the finding nemo movie and the fact that she'd the middle name of the baby was dory that bit got me in the book none of that was there and i'm assuming it's for like legal reasons copyright reasons for the film but it was such a shame because that bit i loved in the book but obviously if they can't include it they can't include it although did, someone did message me on instagram saying oh i liked that there was a poster of finding nemo in atlas's re restaurant i missed that i didn't see that in the film so if you saw that let me know anyway pumpkin spice latte this morning to start our day and i'm actually back at the trafford center i'm going to i need to get um couple of like household bits but then i'm gonna go over to primark and do some new in for primark and we'll see what's what's in in there if at all anything but i'm keeping my fingers crossed because i've seen on socials that lots of their autumn boat bits are in especially like their homeware stuff so yeah we'll head over to that and do a little what's new in primark but for right now i'm going to enjoy sipping on this pumpkin spice latte Okay, time to head on into the shops. Like I said, this is the Primark at the Trafford Centre. They had quite a few kind of like neutral bits out, some plaid shirts leading into autumn, lots of basics, which I like to see because I always like to stock up on some good quality basics and loads of leopard print. I loved this skirt, but the rest of it I wasn't so sure on. Lots of kind of like leopard print satin bits. 
Anyway, not too impressed with the clothing, although I never underestimate the menswear. They have some really good quality, again, basics in terms of t-shirts, hoodies, really nice thick fabrics, soft fabrics. So if you like the kind of oversized boxy tee or hoodie, then definitely check out the menswear in Primark. So I had a quick look downstairs in the fashion for the women's. I did like this linen shirt as well. That's a great tip for like a bikini cover or something is go to the menswear and also that linen blazer. But yeah, the women's wear, there wasn't too much new in, just a few little autumn bits, but I did head over to the home section where they had all the pumpkins. So lots of um, bits that I recognised from last year as well as a few new items in the autumn section. I also love this little photo frame. And then back through the rest of the home section, love this little cream tin and also they have that same cotton scent in like an oil. Some more autumn bits in the kitchenware where they've got some crockery, some mugs, some... Uh, casserole dishes, plates, ramekins, quite a few actually uh, kitchen bits and they also had quite a bit of Halloween bits in so some mugs, plates and all of that kind of stuff um, and also some bits for kids if you're having like a party or something like that. Loads of toadstools as well, that theme is definitely throughout the shops this year as well as it was last year and sunflowers which I think are a nice transitional decor piece. Guys, just a little mention there for Lion King. Have you seen there's a new Mufasa movie coming out? I cannot wait for that. Lion King is my all-time favourite Disney movie. And a little teaser of some cosy knitwear for autumn. Hello guys, we are back home. I've just cracked open. Diet Coke, tell me why there is nothing more thirst quenching than having an ice cold Diet Coke. Mmm divine anyway i am now back home as you can tell and i thought i would share with you the bits that i got yesterday from selfridges and costco all of the primark bits wow there's a lot so i'm going to do a full haul video and for now let me show you firstly the bits from selfridges that i got en route back via the cinema yesterday so just a couple of things a top up of my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil Eyewear, the shade 2.5. It's just my go-to that I keep going back to. The only thing is with brow pencils is I do find that they're probably the makeup item that I run out of quickest, that I have to repurchase the most, but I do really like it. So yeah, I got that. And then I also got this. So from Real Techniques, which I just feel like Real Techniques is just the go-to, the OG, the makeup brush brand that everybody loves and goes back to. So I picked up this new nude set. Now, I wanted a brush like this one for a bit of like a dense kind of contour brush or blush brush. And the one that I saw on its own was £10 or this set was 20 So I thought you got four brushes in here. Uh, and a makeup mixing palette apparently, but I'm never going to use that probably, uh, for £20. So I decided to get the full set and then we've got um, another one quite similar, just angled. And then a couple of brushes that would be good for like uh, concealer. And then for Cusco, I popped in and got a couple of essentials. So I always like to get my toilet roll, kitchen roll from there because you just buy in bulk and 
yeah, so, so handy. Um, cleaning products as well, sometimes I stock up with. So I got these dishwasher tablets um, and also this Vanish powder. Then just a couple of foodie items. We love the Molden salt flakes, so we get through it quite a lot. I mean, Tom loves his cooking, as you guys know. And in fact, I think tonight we're going to have might have his mum over or we might do a barbecue we might i'm not really sure what we're gonna do but tom is in charge of that and i think all i know is that we're gonna have a couple of hours enjoying this afternoon into the evening with the sunshine in the garden um but anyway yeah <laughs> this just just made me think of tom cooking so yeah we got that i also got these definitely don't need three but when you go to costco you buy in bulk and it was only four pounds so i thought I'm pretty sure one of these in the supermarket is probably not far off that anyway. Um, garlic alioli, aioli from Leon. Thought I would grab that. And then some um, big bag of pine nuts. We'll decant these into a storage jar into in the pantry. But yeah, we love pine nuts in salads. We love ro like toasting them off um, on salads and all sorts. Pasta as well, we love it in pasta. If we've got like a fresh pasta, you know like those ones that take two three minutes to cook like the ravioli or whatever that you can get in the supermarket this is like our easy dinner we will buy that but rather than just boil it and eat it we boil it cook the pasta and then we fry off some butter like make it fry off so then you put the pasta in it's kind of like a caramelized burnt butter taste to it really really nice and same with throwing in some pine nuts with that delicious it's just it upgrades your box standard ravioli. And then also love this tuna and one can of this in the in a farm shop is like seven or eight pounds. You get all of these for 13. So it is still expensive for tuna, but honestly guys, this tuna it is better. It's really good. I think it's the olive oil that it's in that makes it really good as well. So yeah, and also the size of the tins for me are perfect. Sometimes like the John West tuna tins are too big for me. These are perfect. I'll sometimes just, again, girl dinner, do a packet of egg fried rice and throw in some of that tuna. Um, or again, add it to like a pasta dish, just plain pasta, cheese, bit of tuna, delish. <sighs> this makes me feel of aut like autumn, but it is, I'm pretty sure these are in Costco all year round, but I haven't bought them since last autumn and it's just approaching the autumn months, the burr months are coming and I thought I would treat myself to these box of maple cream cookies. They're like individually wrapped so you can, um, there's 36 bi biscuits I think, oh two, oh they're, yeah two stay fresh trays so you can open one if you don't get through them. Um, you've, you've not ruined them all, you've still got a full other tray. Does that make sense? You know sometimes with biscuits, if you don't open them and eat them, they can go a bit, like, soft. But these stay, stay really good for long. And the cream in the middle, the maple cream, it's kind of like a custard cream, but maple flavoured, um, is so thick. Oh, it's just divine. Love that. And then I also grabbed this for Barney, or for his bed. It's one of these like noodle cloth towels that helps them dry really, really easily, but it's so thick that you can pop it down. It's not really a towel, it's more like a um, blanket throw type thing that you can put over their bed or just on the floor, in the boot of the car, um, and it just soaks up a lot of water, so more so than a normal towel. So because he is always swimming on the odd occasion he has suffered with hot spots if you don't know who i'm talking about barney's my golden retriever um and he's a swimmer so uh to keep him dry and to help keep him dry that is really really good we just can't get into like the hair dryer although having said that he has been groomed and he always comes back dry so they must use the hair dryer on him but if i try to hair dry him i'm not even kidding he will is petrified he bolts out of the room if i'm just drying my hair tried things around his ears to desensitize that but i think i don't know the groomers must just be able to do it because he's he's hooked into a table and obviously they i'm sure because it's not me he's probably on his best behavior for them and he just sits there patiently and lets them do it i don't know i'd love to know what it's like 
in the groomers, but he always seems to come back dry. That is everything that I picked up yesterday. I think, like I said, we're going to enjoy a lovely evening in the sunshine in the afternoon, this afternoon in the garden. Tom has also, I'm not sure if we're going to get it out tonight or not, but he is charging it just in case. He's bought a projector for us. Um, and this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's just charging, but it's quite portable because obviously you can just pick it up and go. So we've bought a screen that we can pop up. I'll show you. Oh, there he is. The main man himself, complete with his little paw tuck that always makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, Barney. You enjoying the sunshine? Look at that paw. <laughs> Other than that, I think I'm going to close off the vlog here well i'll say goodbye to you now but like i said i'll show you some clips of our evening in the garden especially if we do get out the projector because i am sure some of you would love to love to see what that looks like but for me i'm gonna end it here and say thank you for watching stay tuned for the primark haul coming very very soon i yeah would love you and leave you and hopefully see you all in the next one on sorry about that Tom's got the uh, projector going we are gonna have it on a screen normally but for now just a bit of a test run whoa it's good that isn't it you happy with the new gadget where's Barney Barney oh look at them eyes when his eyes go like that in the dark come here <laughs> look at them eyes we're oh, scary oh there she is <laughs> Barney! <laughs> Your name Bill or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's me! <laughs> Turn it off! I can't cope! I can't cope! Turn it off! <laughs> What's he doing, Barney? Tommy, I can't cope. Please turn me off. <laughs> can't hear my own voice like that. trees let up behind us. I think Barney's around here somewhere. There he is. What are you doing down here? <laughs> this is your little cozy spot.